Cheers and welcome to part 1 of how to speedrun Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This is going to be a three part series and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the game, how to record it and how to set up your timer. And before I get too much into it I want to mention that there is a discord in the description for runners of all Deus Ex games so if you just want to ask a question or join the community feel free to go there. Setting up the game itself isn't really that hard, I mean it's kinda new so it doesn't really have any compatibility issues or anything but there is one thing that you might want to do and that is change the language to French. And the reason why you want to change the language is actually really simple. There are a few events in the game that only trigger once a voice line has finished. So if the voice line finishes earlier, the event obviously triggers faster. That being said, you can already guess that French voice lines are the fastest at those points. And it actually saves about 16 seconds compared to when you run it in English. If you have the game on Steam, it's actually really easy to change the language. You just need to right click it, go to properties, then in the language tab, just select French from the drop down menu. Now that you've set up the game you need to record it and for that I really can't tell you that much. Personally I use OBS but you can use whatever program you feel comfortable with. You can use XSplit, Bandicam, Fraps, Hypercam, Camtasia, whatever. Just make sure that your video is unedited and uncut because if you cut your video down to like 10 minutes of enjoyable video then you can't guarantee that you didn't take one segment from a better run and then a second segment from an even better run and kind of put them together into one super personal best consisting of five different runs. You know, you can't prove that so don't edit it. So now that you've set up the game you're gonna need a timer and for that we use LifeSplit. If you load up LifeSplit it's gonna look like this. It's just a blank timer with nothing else below or above it and you know, it works fine. You can tell it to start tell the time and it if we want, we can tell it to stop tell the time. But that's not enough for us. We want splits. So what is a split? A split is basically just a segment of the game that we time separately, so to say. So for example, the first level would be one segment. And if the first level only takes like two minutes, then that's our first split. And the game is made up of like, I don't know, 10 to 20 splits, depending on how many you do. And I'm going to show you how to do them now. So first of all, we're gonna go to edit splits and here we can type in the game name, which will be Deus Ex Mankind Divided, obviously, and we're gonna run in the category any percent. And if we click OK now, you're gonna see this. It's gonna say the name and the category you're running in and here how many attempts you have and your time and all of that. This is the default layout and I'm gonna show you how to do another layout later on, but for now this is going to do it. So let's go back to editing. I'm going to put a few splits of me and from another runner in the description that you can download but I would recommend you to build your own so to say. So just put in a name, let's call it split1, let's call it split1 and press OK and then it's going to say split1 over here. It's going to show it down there because technically it's the end but Okay, so apparently you can't actually edit the splits or add any splits while you still have a timer on. So for that we can just go to control and reset and we don't want to save them, so it's gonna reset to zero. Now we can actually over here insert below to create new rows. So let's just call this two and three and four and now we have our splits one, two, three and four. And for your first run, you should run it against a blank timer. And that means just, you know, don't put any times in here, don't even bother, just start it and then see how fast you're in the, your first run. And then save those times and in the next run you just try to beat it. Another thing we can do with Live Split is activate a load remover. And you can see this over here and it says load removal is available. A load remover is basically just, uh, I don't know if it's a plugin or like a mod or I don't know what it is, but it is a feature that lets you sort of automatically pause the timer whenever you're in a load screen because it's just fairer that way, you know, if you have a super fast computer and a super strong setup and everything, then of course your loading times are going to be much shorter and if you're having not such a great PC, then they're going to be way longer and it would be unfair if you had to buy the best PC you can just to get a decent time. So load removals are pretty neat and we're just gonna activate them and it's gonna stay like this. One extra thing though, you have to either start live split or the load remover after you've loaded the Mankind Divided. Because if you activate the load remover before you start the game, it's not gonna work. So 
if you've opened up MD after life split, then just close life split and open it up again, or just press deactivate and activate again. Okay, so one thing I almost forgot to mention is over here you can see that I have my splits and my layout loaded, and in Dubai I have 153. And down here you have game time and real time. So if I now press the split button over here, or my hotkey, then the program has to choose if it wants to compare it against the real time or against the game time. Because, you know, Life Split only knows that I have 153 in Dubai, but doesn't know if it's the game time or the real time. And for that, we're going to right click and compare against. Uh, I don't know if it's on real time or game time by default, but set it to game time so it actually only counts the load removed time. Because in Dubai, you know, you have like, I think 20 seconds of cutscene at the beginning, depending on how fast your PC is. And also, all across the run, you're going to have cutscenes and if you press compare against real time then every time you split it's gonna it's gonna assume that you mean real time when applying those personal best times so if we now resume this timer and wait for about 10 seconds we're gonna see that this here has changed this is the delta which is like if you're plus or minus below or above the time and yeah, it's gonna compare against the game time. And if we now split and split again, then it's gonna show minus seven minutes because we're seven minutes ahead of the next split. Again, in game time and not in real time. Now let's head over to the layout. And for that, I'm gonna just pull this a little bigger so you can see better. I should have done it before actually, now that I think about it. So we can just right click and then edit layout over here. And if we double click it, we go to this neat little window here. And we can pretty much play around with the layout however we want. And each of these tabs corresponds to one element in Life Split. So, for example, the title obviously corresponds to the title. And we can change the color if we want to a bright pink, just because. And you can also, for example, set it to green if you want to color key it in your recording program but we're just gonna keep it to black. Now, here in the splits, you can select how many rows you want. So let's say you only have eight or nine splits, then you can select nine splits, and then it's only gonna show as much as you really need. Also, over here, you can select what color you want the splits to display. So if I'm gonna show you this, here, the active split has a blue to dark bluish color. Let's reset that. Right, so we can actually also change that. Let's go with a plain green that will melt our retinas. So if you now click on start, it shows us this beautiful green that's just, ah, it's beautiful. Also, one thing I can really recommend you is do not use like a bright pink or bright green for chroma key in your recording program. Personally, I just use black, the blackest black I can find, like that black, because it doesn't hurt my eyes when I stare at it. So one other thing I want to show you is the timer. And here, by default, it's going to say current timing method. And that's okay, but for example, I have set it up so that I can see the game time and below that the real time. And if you want to do it like that, theoretically, you can set game time over here and then delete that and add another timer and edit this to say real time over here and now this one is gonna show you the game time so like the time that you spend in the game without loads and the bottom one would be the one with loads just because it's interesting to know how long you spend in loading screens in a run for example Okay, so the last thing I think I can show you here is that you can also change the general layout, so like fonts and here are like color codes of different elements, so a personal best will be displayed in blue and if you're ahead it's green and if you are behind your personal best is kind of displayed in red. You can change all of that if you want, um, yeah, you don't have to, but if you want you can play around with that and you know, create your own personal layout. Personally, I like the eye bleeding pink, but you know, each to his own. 
So now you're pretty much done and you can start record your first run, if you know how to do it. And if not, you can just check out one of my other videos where I explain how to do a glitchless run and after that how to do glitches and all that stuff. So yeah, I really hope that this video was helpful and see ya!